Now there are plenty of QR code generators online and most of them will let you download your QR code for your link in a PNG format for free. But as soon as you try to do anything vector, it'll ask you to pay for it. So this is a great workaround. I'm gonna show you how to take a QR code that looks like this and remove the background so that you can change it to any color you want in Kittle. So I've got this QR code here in my canvas. Oh, would you look at that? And if I drag it off to the side here, you can see that it has this pesky white background. And when you're putting it on designs, like if you're doing a poster or a banner or something where someone would scan a QR code, like a menu or something, it's just not great to have this white background on here. It's not very attractive and it can kind of ruin the vibe of your design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this image and I'm going to click on my image vectorizer and if the code part of this is black and the background is white, I can keep this on one color. It's gonna take whichever color is darker. So this one is a black code on a white background. So I'm gonna leave this as one and click vectorize image. After that's done, you can tell that the background has been removed from this, but not only has the background been removed from this, it has also been vectorized, which means I can take this, go into my colors, and make this QR code any color I want to suit my project. And if that example wasn't enough, let's just say I took something like this with a four inches in height of six inches. Let's say that this is a little coffee shop menu and it's just a little card that you put on the tables. If people want to scan, they can get the menu on their phone or like a restaurant. A lot of restaurants are doing that now where they just they don't want to bring the menus because the tables are so small. They're tiny little tables and you can't fit everything on it. So they don't want to block up your table with a big old 18 by 20 menu. So let's say there is this little card and we do a little off-white color and some text, fun little font. Say something like scan for menu, close our line spacing up. I do like black on this, but let's just say that wasn't our brand color and we were something like, I don't know, coffee shop. Let's do something like this. This is a nice little neutral, neutral blue, maybe a little darker so we make sure it can print. And then I have my QR code right here pull it onto my menu. Doesn't look too great, don't love that. So image vectorizer, one color, boop, easy peasy. Document colors, blue, do a little sizey up right there. Group, center vertically and horizontally, boom, done. Vectorizing and being able to change the colors of your QR codes is really gonna open a whole world of being able to design. I mean like business cards, flyers, posters, banners, uh, menus, really anything that could have a QR code on it because we're all switching to QR codes because it's way better than links. Nobody's gonna read the link and then go and then type it in. It's way easier to just grab your phone, scan the QR code, have it send you to the web page. If it looks like crap, I mean, it looks like crap. And if we can make it not look bad, well, you know, we have the ability to do that. So to sum up, just get your QR code, image vectorizer, one color to remove the background and make it vector. And then you can change it to whatever color you want to suit your document. That's all for today. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button, hit the like button on this video and drop a comment down below if this was helpful. If you haven't used Kittle yet, hopefully I've showed you today a little bit how useful Kittle is. You can sign up for free using the QR code in this video. Just go to any part of this video that this QR code is, just take your phone and just boop, scan, and then boom, you sign up for your free trial. If you're using a free trial right now, Use the link in the description of this video to get a percentage off pro plan. Trust me, you're going to want to save some money. Everybody wants to save some money. Use the link in the description. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.